So here we are again, but this time we have what I would like to call a real fishing reel. None of this garbage that they make today that's disposable, you can toss out whenever you're done with it kind of thing. I'm talking a real, honest to goodness fishing reel. This fishing reel is from the 1960s and it was made in Germany. It's made out of metal, solid steel baby, and there's not much of any, well, I think uh, well, there's kind of like a coating of plastic maybe on the top of this, but all the rest of it completely, the entire thing is made out of metal, except for this. Yep, this is the only thing that has plastic on it, and it's still around. It's not deteriorating or anything. I've never oiled it. I've never greased it. It has three settings on it. The settings are... Believe it or not, right here. Now this setting, as you can see, there's three different types of setting. I got a little knobby thing on here. It just pops up, goes over like that. Now we can go both ways with it now, or we can set it back this way, and we'll reel it in. And if we set it back this way, it'll go the opposite way. Now, the only problem that I've ever seen with this reel, and this is huge, look look at my hand. This is a huge reel. I don't know what the weight line you should be putting on this baby or not, but this is a dar darn big reel. I'm thinking this is probably maybe a 50 pound reel. The only problem I had with it was this. This thing right here. Not the flipping and everything, but the fact that when you turn the handle, you go into it and you turn the handle, what it's going to do is it like that. It might hit that once in a while. So one thing you got to do is tighten up the handle here and it doesn't hit anymore. The other thing I had to do was bend it back. So I bent it back like this and then I bend it back a little bit more every once in a while because it will actually like bend down. But other than that, this thing has no bearings in it. It's all gears. The whole thing is nothing the whole thing is nothing but gear ratio on this thing. Look at the screw, look at the quality of workmanship in this thing you get. Now the other thing I like about this reel is that this baby right here has a bigger head on it than most other reels of today. And it has a thinner body on it. It's like really thin. That that's it. That's how thick this body is on this thing. That's all it is. When the line comes off of this, it will actually cast farther than if you had another rod of today. Today's rods will not cast as long because these spools are wider. This one is thinner. And it'll bring the line off properly. And this will actually make it cast farther. So why don't they do it today? I, I, I don't know. But this is one of my favorite reels. And the fact that this thing has never been greased. It's never been maintained. Other than a few little nudges on it every once in a while. And the fact that this thing is probably as old as I am. Maybe even older. And this is one of my favorite reels. And this is your tension on it with the numbers and everything on it. So if you want a reel, you should actually maybe see if you can find one of these. Because the garbage they make today, you have to maintain it. So many bearings in it. The bearings will wear out in it. And you blow yourself like 60. This one is 100 bucks on eBay. So they go for about 100 bucks on eBay. But you can't buy them probably anywhere else in garage sales or something. But if you ever come across one of these babies, right there. The quick super, make sure you don't pass this baby up. Because my girlfriend got this for me at Value Village. Two thumbs up.